Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, today we are going to study the topic conservation of biodiversity. Now, what is conservation? Conservation is basically the protection of lifting or saving something. What is biodiversity? Biodiversity is basically the variety of living organisms on the planet Earth. So, conservation of biodiversity is basically the protection of lifting and scientific management of biodiversity in order to fulfill the needs for the present generation as well as for future generations. So, conservation of biodiversity is basically the protection of lifting and scientific management of the biodiversity means the living organisms which are found on the planet Earth. And for what purpose? To fulfill the needs of the present generation as well as the needs of the future generation. It is the use of living organisms in a sensible way. Sensible way means the use of living resources and living organisms in a wise manner, in a planned manner, in a regulate manner, not to over exploit them so as to, to utilize them uh, in a wise manner uh, uh, in the current uh, era as well as to protect them for the future generation. Now we are going to the important points, important teaching points we are going to study here, teaching points. As a result of human activities, the biodiversity of many areas and the earth as a whole uh, is continuously decreasing. Now, due to human activities, the variety of living organisms which are found on the planet earth is continuously decreasing. Now, what are those human activities? Those human activities are basically, uh, you can say, deforestation, industrialization, uh, Similarly, uh, over exploitation of the natural resources of the living organisms. These all are human activities which uh, continuously affecting the biodiversity. As a result, the biodiversity is continuously decreasing day by day. Now, we are going to study three categories of species. The first one that is the extinct species what are uh, the extinct species those species of living organisms which no longer live anywhere on the planet earth it means that they disappeared from the planet earth and why they disappeared from the planet earth because of the environmental conditions of the past as well as the human activities uh, which resulted in their disappearance so those species which are currently not found on the planet earth and they disappear from the planet earth those species are called extinct species for example dinosaur coxonia dinosaur is the animal which uh, uh, disappeared from the planet earth uh, because of the environmental conditions and uh, another one that is the coxonia plant this is another example uh, this plant is uh, no longer uh, found anywhere in the uh, world. So these two are the examples of the extinct species. Now the second category of species uh, which we are going to study, uh, those are endangered species. Endangered species are those species which are in danger of extinction. Currently there is uh, uh, enough amount, enough, enough number of these uh, species, but they are in the danger of extinction. There is uh, a possibility if the human population utilized them uh, in unwise manner and exploited them. Uh, so as a result, uh, this is the possibility that uh, in the near future, they will become extinct. Currently, they are in large number, in sufficient number, but they are in the danger of extension. Their number is uh, decreased several folds. So, we should protect them. We should protect them so that they will interbreed 
and as a result uh, the population will be propagated so uh, these are endangered species examples plants like rafflesia and grass ferns and animals like pandas and gorillas are endangered now there are few examples of the endangered species uh, the population of these species rafflesia grass ferns animals like uh, pandas and gorillas uh, is so much decreased though they are found on the planet earth and they have some uh, number but uh, there is a danger of their extinction so we have to protect them through wild parks through protected areas through ban on hunting uh, etc etc so in this way uh, these species will continue to grow and they will interbreed and as a result their population will be preserved conserved now the threatened species uh, the third category of species we are going to study uh, are threatened species are those species which are likely to become endangered in the near future now comparatively these threatened species are uh, sufficiently in large number uh, even more than the endangered species but still there is a threat there is a possibility that uh, in the near future uh, they will become extinct and, and why if the human activities uh, continue in in uh, in the same manner uh, and uh, these threatened species these are utilized by humans in unwise manner uh, and uh, they are over exploited they are over utilized so there is a possibility that in uh, near future um, they will become endangered their number will become uh, very much less now what are the examples the examples are tiger and sea turtle now these are the examples these are the threatened species now another point we are going to discuss here in pakistan now now we are uh, going to to uh, study the pakistan scenario so in pakistan 700 species of plants 20 species of birds and 31 species of mammals and five species of reptiles are listed as endangered now this is the survey of uh, Pakistan that uh, uh, 700 species of plants are currently endangered in Pakistan. Their number is so much decreased that they are in the danger of extension. Similarly 20 species of birds, 31 species of mammals and 5 species of reptiles. These are endangered species. For example plants like Chelgoza and Sanobar and animals like capra falconeri marhor this is a local term marhor is the local term used for capra falconeri and uh, capra falconeri is the biological name of this species marhor so these become endangered in pakistan now why they become endangered the plants become endangered like chelgoza and sanobar they become endangered because their uh, number is uh, uh, so much less now because human population exploited them so much uh, and similarly the uh, marhor animal again they are killed by uh, the hunters uh, so as a result their population decreased so much so in pakistan as well as throughout the world we should conserve the biodiversity and for that conservation there should be wild parks there should be protected areas for the living organisms for the wild animals for the plants and there should be regulatory mechanism the state the government should should take uh, steps to conserve these species thank you uh, uh, we'll meet you inshallah in the next video lecture